What's up, insiders? We are back. First up, let's talk about the launch of comments translation on the YouTube main app. Now, today, users make comments in over 100 languages, and that means that users can only partake in a minority of those conversations based on the languages they actually speak. Well, we've heard from creators that being able to understand comments in languages that you don't speak is really essential. So we're happy to announce that now on YouTube, users will be presented with a translate option, which will allow them to translate comments into the languages that they understand and speak. Now, it's good to remember that this launch is only live for the YouTube main app, so mobile. We're hoping to bring this as soon as possible to studio mobile and to desktop. Next up, let's talk about subscribers only chat. Now, if this is new to you, let's take a step back in time and discuss an experiment that we ran last year. Within this experiment, a creator could enable a mode of live chat where only viewers who were subscribers for a predetermined period of time could partake in the chat itself. The great news, we've launched this to all creators. You can adjust the settings for this feature in the live control room. Now let's talk about the fact that we're rolling out a new shorts feature called green screen. And I'm sure you've guessed exactly what green screen is for. You can select a photo from your device's gallery and use it as your background for shorts. We expect this feature to be rolled out to all creators in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for updates. Now let's move on to a discussion around expanding access to clips. We are expanding access to clips for gaming creators with more than 1,000 subscribers. Now, in the long term, we're going to keep on rolling this out to more and more creators, and that's about it in terms of updates, but we got a really interesting question from a creator over the past couple of weeks specific to our drugs and tobacco advertiser-friendly content guidelines video. And I wanna dig into that, but as you know, gotta put on these bad boys. What is the difference between monetized content that appears on TV versus content that appears on YouTube with regards to specific subjects like drugs and tobacco? Well, so we took this back to the team and they provided us with a very specific answer. And just to make sure I'm hitting all the right notes and getting it 100% correct, I'm gonna read exactly what they wrote for me to give to you. So we want to explain more here. Advertisers do care what their ads appear on or next to, like on TV, but often directly pick what specific TV shows they want their ads to appear on. With online advertising, they want to spend their money on platforms that have strong brand controls in place and they review their placement reports, so what videos their ads have actually run on, from YouTube to ensure their ads appear on content they are comfortable associating their brands with. YouTube has worked to align with industry standards for brand safety, as well as Google's ad policies, which have helped shape the YouTube advertiser-friendly content guidelines, which I know all of you are very familiar with. We know the space is really nuanced, so we want to try and communicate the differences as clearly as we possibly can. And with that is another invitation for you to leave us a couple of comments or any questions on this specific question that you would like us to bring to the news flash and clarify. And that, my friends, is just about it from the creators of YouTube in YouTube to YouTube's creators. This has been your weekly news flash.